Hey guys, we're gonna do some real simple stuff, top water fishing, some of the things and tools that, that uh, I like to use to help increase my odds. It's all about odds in bass fishing to catch that extra fish or two. Real simple stuff, nothing surprisingly. Probably most of you already know all about it, but we're gonna show you today and we're gonna catch some fish. I'll guarantee you that, and it's gonna be a good day. One of the things I do when I'm top water fishing is that I, I put I put my uh, motor guide on six, seven, or eight, and I go, and I'm always looking for any sort of disturbance. Always watching my bait, whether I'm throwing a toad, a wake bait, like you know, like a wake shad or a, a jointed red fin, or or a whopper plopper. And anytime you got a opportunity to position yourself around cover as such, you 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 want to make sure that you throw past your targets like that. And what's cool about braided line is you can make cast like that and get a little grass on there and ruin your whole cast. Um, you always want to throw past your target, not at your target, and give it that best presentation that you can around that cover. Because a lot of times in the summertime, fish will position themselves and stack multiple fish on targets. Let's see, I didn't do a good job of skipping there. And topwater fishing too is a very visual and, and sound, sound being secondary to visual. So you want clear water. You don't want dingy water when you're top water fishing. It's, a, it's harder. I'm not saying you can't catch them like on a buzz bait. The dirtier the water or the rougher the water is, is when you want to implement a topwater lure with sound, such as buzz bait, the whopper plopper, something that rattles real good like a spook. All right, so if the water's slick like it is now, a bait that's more subtle, like a small popper, a, 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 a wake bait, or, or a toad, toad, are all good baits in clear, slick, calm, water. They can find it easier. They can't find this toad or that wake bait very well in rough, rougher water. So that's where you pick up your louder, uh, bulkier baits. That's a big old brown bass or largemouth. I saw him swimming up there. That's a big one too. <laughs> Holy crap. I want you to look at this. I saw him swimming up there. I thought, man, that ain't that, that can't be a bass. That's a big one. Holy crap. That's what, that's what makes this fishing so fun. You know, a good four and a half pounder. Look why it's hooked with that whopper plopper. Front hook. Man, did he maul that or what? That was a nice fish. Nice catch. What's that way, Mitch? Four and a half? Gotta pretend I hold that up a little. Three pounds, fourteen ounces. Well, four pounder, nice fish. I fish a lot. I hear hear guys at tournaments and and stuff. You know more around the house and smaller buddy tournaments and guys be like, "Man, I had some really good blow-ups today or man, they, you know, I just couldn't get them hooked." Well, I always like to listen to what people are saying and uh kind of you could kind of weed through the the BS and 
but when so many guys are saying, man, I'm having a hard time catching them, man, I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of bites like that. Look at him jump. It's another, it's a big old brownie. Golly. <laughs> you can save that scale because that don't work. This is a three pounder. Gonna need the pliers on this one. <laughs> <laughs>